Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. Welcome to Tech Dive TV Help Desk. Today on Tech Dive TV Help Desk, we're going to talk about safe mode. No, that doesn't mean your doors are locked and your windows are locked, though that may be safe for you. We're talking about Windows users, and there's an option in Windows to go into safe mode. Sometimes people will turn off their computers without shutting down properly. This is bad. Don't do it. Always shut down your computer the proper way in Windows. Go into your start menu and click your shutdown and let it shut down normally. It's doing things back there. It's not just wasting your time. Some people may think it takes a long time to shut down and some computers do. But it's closing files the right way. It's making sure your registry is written to correctly and closed properly. If you just turn your computer off without shutting down properly, the next time you boot your computer, it may bring you to a screen that says, this computer was not shut down properly. Do you want to go into safe mode? Safe mode. Hmm. I wonder what that is. Basically what safe mode is, is loading windows with minimal drivers just the least amount it can uh, actually run with uh, and boot properly. But it doesn't load all your stuff, so you don't want to run your computer that way. So if you boot it into safe mode, if you had shut it down without properly shutting it down with the programs, but actually just turned it off, um, it will actually boot up, and then what you should do is shut down normally. It'll close all the appropriate files and write your registry back to the way it was. And the next time you boot, it should boot normally. But what if you wanted to go into safe mode on purpose? Why would you do that? Well, perhaps you have a virus, and to get rid of it, you have to go into safe mode so you can run some utilities on it, so your antivirus or something of that nature. Well, when, your computer is, when you turn your computer on, before it gets to the Windows screen, you have to tap your F8 key. The one at the top of the row of keyboard that says F8 on it. Um, and you got to know when to tap it. Well, what I do is I just continue to tap it. You know, just tap, 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 tap as it's booting. And eventually it'll give you a screen to ask you if you want to go into safe mode. Well, there's other options on that screen as well. There's safe mode. There's safe mode with networking, and there's safe mode command line. What do they mean? Safe mode is basically automatic safe mode. It brings you back into a Windows graphical user interface, or GUI, and then you can shut down or do whatever changes you want to do in there. Safe mode with networking also loads all your networking drivers so you can get onto the internet or get to other machines on your network if you have a network. So if you need to do something like download a driver because one of your drivers got corrupted, you'd want to go into safe mode with networking so you can get to the internet to download the appropriate driver. And uh, safe mode with command prompt will actually bring you into a login screen if you have a login, let you log in and then bring you back to what looks like old DOS, but it's just a command prompt, the C prompt, where if you need to type in commands to fix something or do something, you can. Now, once you're done with that, you just type in the command prompt one, you just type in exit at the end, it'll bring you into the graphical interface and you can shut down normally. So those are the three methods of going into safe mode. If your computer is not acting correctly, you may want to go into safe mode, let it boot all the way into safe mode, log in, and then shut down normally. That should bring your computer back to its healthy state so it boots properly each time. But remember, when you're done using your computer and you want to turn it off for the night, go through the appropriate shutdown procedure. Click your start, go to your shutdown, and let it shut down normally. It really is important for Windows to do that. This is David Hale with Tech Dive TV Help Desk. You have a good day.